All right, let's take a look at the uh, project specifications and talk a little bit about what uh, is expected on this project. So first, this is three compositions in black and white. And so this is really your first foray into the real world of design. Basically, what you're going to be doing is playing around with concepts that constitute or that are really the kind of the rules, I guess, or just the basic concepts of um, visual organization. And so you will um, use your creativity and your intuition. This is something, again, that I'm trying to get you to uh, develop your eye for design. And um, so uh, one thing I want to say, let's go first down to the specifications and then we'll come back to the concepts for a moment. So the requirements are that you're going to be using a, a square format and it's going to be either 400 by 400 or 600 by 600, 400 if you're on a laptop and 600 if you're on a desktop, but whatever, stay consistent. You'll be using points, lines, and planes any way you want any size, any combination, whatever you want to do. You'll be using only black and white, no values, no textures, and no color. Um, you may have a black background or a white background, and obviously whatever background you have, your figures should be in the reverse, all right? Now you're going to be making 20 studies. Now what this means, and now let's go back up to the concepts. What I would like you to do is I would like you to, um, let's see, I'm looking for where it says that. Uh, there it is. Okay. Um, obviously, for part one, you're going to just study this stuff, right? You're going to just kind of look at it and read the book and figure out what's going on, look at the samples, all that good stuff. You'll be using points, lines, and planes, and you will execute three final compositions. Okay, each composition will focus on one of the principles of the above list. So you might pick concentration, similarity, and space, something like that. The goal of each composition is to illustrate that specific principle as clearly as possible. Remember from the book that the principles often have overlapping characteristics, and so you may do concentration, but it might also look like perhaps gradation or something. So um, just remember that there it may or it may not be, you know, crystal clear what you're doing and just make your best call. Okay. Um, so again, creativity and intuition. Um, when in doubt, keep it simple. It's sometimes a good idea to simply start with all circles or all rectangles or all lines or something like that and see if you can make it work with simple shapes first. And then if you feel like making it more complex, that is an option for you. So when I say creating at least 20 studies, let's look at our three concepts. Okay, so we are going to say similarity, radiation, and contrast. Those are our three. All right, so if you're doing 20 studies, I would actually start with, say, four or possibly even five and then we'll eliminate the, the least successful. So let's say we start with four, anomaly, um, gradation, concentration, and contrast, okay? Um, so you're gonna do, say, five studies of each of those ones. So that's gonna give you 20 studies. So what you're gonna do here is you're not gonna come up with five different con um, um, compositions for anomaly. You're gonna pick one, you're gonna start with one and you're gonna do five iterations. So you're basically gonna keep working that one composition until you get to the point where you think it's either done or you're tired of it or, or it fell apart or whatever. And then do another concept. And again, start with a simple composition and gradually alter it, change it, make it more complex. Um, if it gets too complex, simplify. Um, it's a matter of uh, really looking at how that composition evolves rather than making a bunch of new ones, okay? I really want you to emphasize, I really want to emphasize that um, because otherwise you, you're going to burn out. If you try to do 20 completely different compositions, you'd fry and none of them, none of them would be any good, okay? So I'm hoping that's clear on that. You'll be final outputting everything into a JPEG format, high quality. Um, and then your studies can be named anything, okay? So study, you know, just call it 
concentration one, two, three, four, five, or something like that. Um, okay, your finals, however, must be named the concept. So say you're working on anomaly and you went through, say, 13 iterations of it. Well, then anomaly 13 would be your number. Um, you will be doing two rounds of design. Um, if you refer to the, um, the due dates, you'll see that we have a design review and a final. In the design review, what we'll do is we'll take a look at your 20 or more. This would be like a minimum, okay? I think that if you're having fun, you could easily do more than that. Um, and we'll look at, say, your four concepts and we'll decide maybe anomaly is the weakest one. And we'll say, okay, let's not do that and let's pick the other three. And then I, you know, we'll pick the strongest uh, composition and we're gonna work for further refinement. So this will be study two, okay? This first batch will be studies. Second batch will be called studies two because you're gonna be refining the three designs that we think are the strongest from that first round. And that happens at the design review. And so then those are studies too. And then from those, that batch of studies of which there could be, you know, five or 10 of each of the three. So you may end up with another, you know, 15 to 30 studies. And remember when you're working incrementally that you are essentially um, changing things, you're not rethinking it. So that's, it shouldn't be hard to run through several iterations in a relatively short period of time. Um, okay, um, once we've, finalize the the best of the of the second round of studies we will put our final three into a folder called finals and you will upload that to the mat server okay um, you'll be posting only your final compositions in your photo sections on an album on the class website okay only the three finals make an album call it something like Smith Finals 3 or whatever. Um, and you're gonna write a one paragraph design reflection statement. It could be more than one, but I would say that would be a minimum. Um, and the design reflection statement is essentially describing your experience as you work through the project. Okay, what did you learn? What was fun? What was hard? What was confusing? Um, you know, was something difficult and it became easier or whatever. So whatever your experience was as you worked on it will be your design reflection statement, okay? And you'll put that in the comments below the album, okay? And that way everybody can look at the album and see the concepts right away. You will comment on three of your classmates' work and um, the online is a video critique, okay? Um, Again, you'll be working on intuition and creativity, the depth of your exploration. Again, I grade heavily, I should say I score. I score heavily on how much you do, how many studies you, you experience because that's how you learn, okay? Um, you'll be also evaluated on how well your uh, design concepts were incorporated. Um, overall, the final designs, regardless of whether you got this, the concept right or wrong or you forgot to name them or whatever, um, the overall success of the design, just basically how effective is it in terms of moving your eye around the composition, um, that's that. And then, of course, following the project requirements, did you do all this stuff up here, okay? Um, you'll find this the, the master schedule here. You will find a more detailed schedule on the class website, and you'll be referring to the online resources, um, which is your that's where you're here right now, and then the book Graphic Design in Two Years, Chapter Two. All right. So those are the specs for this project. Um, again, if you have any questions, put them in the discussion forum and. Um, this, is, this should be a really fun project, so have some fun. <clears throat>